Hi YouTube, so I am coming to you guys with an update. Um, it's been about a month since the last time I updated, so I figured it's time to get back on the channel and let you guys know what's going on with me. So, um, first off, I am videotaping in my bathroom because it has gotten dark outside and I need new bulbs and the light in my bedroom is not that great. So, here we are in the bathroom. So anyway, um, jumping into the video, um, the last time I updated, I believe I spoke about um, clomid, being clomid resistant, quote unquote, because now actually I don't know that I am. I think that my doctor may not have given me enough time on clomid um, from listening to other women that had experiences with Clomid and injectables and all those things. So I think that two, two tries on Clomid um, wasn't fair enough to judge whether I was Clomid resistant. The first, the first Clomid um, cycle, I did ovulate. The second, I did not. So um, that's why I'm saying I don't think it's fair because, I mean, every cycle is different. Um, so anyway, saying all that to say, um, I thought about it long and hard, maybe a little too much, and I actually decided to go ahead with the injectables. Um, so, that has been very interesting <laughs> and a bit stressful. Um, not so much because I have to give myself the injection, but dealing with my insurance and the... Um, the medicine is more costly than Clomid, and the my insurance company, which is Aetna, will only allow me to get the injectables a certain, um, like 21 days per, like every 21 days, I can get new medicine. So, say I run out of medicine mid-cycle, which actually did happen to me last week. Um, then I'm SOL and I've got to scramble to find out what I can do about getting new um, a new prescription. So basically I'm taking Gonal F and this is it right here. Gonal F and um, this is my doctor actually called in another um, injectable for me but my insurance wouldn't cover it. They would only cover Gonal F and Brevel. And I think the other one was Politism. I don't know how to say it. But anyway, I, she did call it another prescription that she preferred, but um, Aetna would only cover for me Gonal F and Brevel. So this is the Gonal F pin. And I have to say, the first week of using this, this is what it looks like with the cap off. Um, and then the medicine is in there. I've used this one almost completely yet, so you probably don't see very much medicine. Um, then what you do is you... I was actually going to do a um, demonstration video on this, but every time I take my pill, I mean my, um, my, my injectable, it's like 9.30 when I usually take it. It's late, I'm tired, and shooting a video is probably the last thing on my mind. But hopefully... Um, I will get a chance to do an instructional video on how to do Gano F. Um, inside here is the needle. You just pull that uh, little plastic piece off and you um, kind of stick that down into here, twist it, and then the needle pops. It's, it's popped up right there. And then you dial. I don't know if you can see this, but you dial to however much medicine you need. My doctor started me at 37.5, um, and you pull it out and you inject. So, um, I am on the Gano F, and I have been on the Gano F now for uh, almost three weeks. Almost three weeks. My doctor started me off on 37.5 um, units. Uh, the first week, I didn't have any response second week no response and I was getting a little frustrated because um, this medicine is expensive and I was running out and so I was you know not very excited about 
having to take injectables anyway. And so, and on top of that, you know, I wasn't responding, and my doctor had me on such a low dosage. And on another thing on top of that is, you know, running out of medicine. The cold you don't have to worry about that. So, um, basically now, uh, okay, so two weeks on 37.5 units, and then one week on 75, um, which was all of last week. And um, so I have a, my next scan is today is, today's Thursday. So my next follicle scan is on Monday. My doctor actually is going to have her office open on Labor Day, so that's nice because I don't have to miss any work because I'll be off and I can just go in that morning and see if there's any response. Um, she has scammed me once since I've been on the 75 units, and that was last week. And actually, that was earlier this week um, on Monday. I think it was Monday, and I didn't have any response, so I think that. I'm going to need a much higher dosage of gonal F with my doctor's taking it extremely slow to have PCOS and she does not want me to over hyperstimulate, which I understand and I'm trying to be as patient as possible. Um, but again, I'm just not really excited about the injectables. I'd rather um, go back to taking Clomid. And I actually thought about it and I may just bring that up to her. When I, if I go in on next Monday and there's no response, I might just say, you know, can we just jump back into the club mid? Because I, I feel more comfortable in so many ways with that than I do with the injectables um, for many different reasons. So, basically, I was long-winded and just now I feel like I said a, a whole bunch of things in like one breath. But I just wanted to... Um, let everyone know that I'm watching everyone's videos and there are so many ladies on here that are so strong and I really appreciate you because I have been down. I mean, I think that's part of the reason why I haven't shot any videos. I don't know if the medicine has me, like, you know, super emotional, but I've been down, like, you know, really upset over the smallest things and really thinking to myself, is this going to happen? And, you know, all those emotional roller coasters that you go through when it comes to your fertility and trying to conceive. I've just been going through the motions and it hasn't been fun. And, you know, I just really felt like my energy wasn't good. I felt my energy wasn't bright enough, hopeful enough to come on here with all these other ladies that are so strong and you know, so positive in try and update and say what's going on with me when I really didn't feel so good. I really didn't feel positive. I really didn't feel happy um, with my progress in this, you know, journey. And I know that I've only been trying for a few months now and I have to, you know, be patient. But sometimes you, you get a little discouraged, which is normal. And so, um, Basically, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, and um, I again, as I was saying, I'm so thankful for all of the ladies that uh, I follow and that follow me because so many of you have went through different things um, in you know in your fertility journey, and you haven't let that stop you. You've just kept pushing forward, and I appreciate that. I know. Everyone that's a part of this community, we feed off of each other and, you know, when one person is going through and, you know, they still maintain a positive spirit and, you know, keep pushing forward, it, it reinforces to you, makes me at least feel like, okay, I can keep going too. If this person can go through that, I can surely keep going or, you know, um, this person, you know, it took her a while to get there, but she got there and she has you know, a healthy pregnancy, let me keep going too because it may take a while for me too and I, I will get there. So, um, I don't know if I'm making any sense right now, <laughs> I'm just kind of talking. I've gotten out of the habit of making videos so it's kind of strange um, trying to post and, and talk and I hope that I've connected with you guys. Um, if you have any of your own personal experiences from Gano F, Clomid, PCOS, um, whatever you're going through, 
feel free to, you know, give me whatever advice you might have. And, um, I will keep you guys updated. I'll try to come back on here on Monday and let, sh let you guys know what my response was to the Gano F the second week on 75 units. Hopefully it's positive. Um, and if not, then I'll just keep pushing forward like always. So God bless and have a good night and I'll talk to you guys later.